Hey, this is Digital by Computing. Today we're going to be looking at the Amazon Echo and the Amazon Echo Dot. We're going to be doing a quick unboxing and setting it up using our iPhone. So we've got ourselves our iPhone 10 and we want to configure these new Amazon products on our iPhone and essentially into the Apple ecosystem spell with control Apple devices. You can also set these things up so we can use Alexa to control your lights and other home automation pieces in your home. So let's go ahead and open it. This is the second generation Amazon Echo. It's got the nice felt on the inside. Nice big box. It's a bit heavy, which is quite nice. So it does show that it may be a little bit sturdy. Let's just open this thing up. So here's the unit, nothing else in the box there. So we've got our inside of the box right here. We've got the power adapter. Now because I'm in Australia, I've obviously got the Australian plug right here. And then the other end is your jack that's gonna be running into the back of the Amazon. Nice little Amazon logo on the back of the actual power adapter as well. This is a 21 watt. And that's really it. So other than that, you get a nice manual things to try and a nice Amazon Echo. Getting started, how to you know, set the thing up, how to plug it in, how to do really everything that you need to get it up and running. So here is the unit itself. So let's just take the plastic off. And look, at first impressions, it is a quite a uh, nice looking device. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven microphones that you can see right there. We've got our volume up and down, we've also got the mute and you can also activate Alexa right from there. On the bottom, it's a nice rubber sort of bottom, so that's, you know, essentially it sticks to a surface. And then the nice sort of carpet felt on the actual outside of the unit as well. And on the back, I've got ourselves the power plug right there and also an auxiliary out where I can run, you know, essentially a, uh, another set of speakers straight out into this, uh, into another device. So that is the Amazon Echo. You've also got a nice little Amazon logo right here etched into the side of the actual unit. And here it is. Before we open that up, let's see what else is in the box. Amazon Echo Dot, nice manual. Again, a power to guide, how to set the thing up. Should be pretty straightforward. We're not gonna really follow this, so hopefully we can Hopefully it's plug and play enough that we can go and set that, up, set that up itself. And a nice little manual and Amazon Echo things to try, very similar to the other unit that we've got. Inside the box, we've also got ourselves another power adapter, essentially the same as the bigger Amazon Echo. This is the Australian plug. This is a 15 watt power adapter. So here it is, here is the Amazon Echo Dot. The unit itself is actually a nice weight. It's not too heavy, but it's heavy enough that it does feel like it is sturdy. And we've got our volume up, volume down. You've got the mute button. You've also got the button to activate Alexa. And we've got one, two, three, four microphones on the actual unit. And then on the outside, you've got that nice sort of carpet uh, felt sort of material um, on the actual, on the outside. The actual bottom is like a rubber bottom. Or if I put it on a you know, on a table, for example, it's quite sturdy and it's really not going to move. And there you go. Nice looking device. On the back, you've obviously got your power in and then your auxiliary port on there where you can run this device into another device. Now the great thing about this device is that it is Bluetooth uh, compatible. So you can stream Bluetooth music to it and you can also stream from this to an alternate Bluetooth device. So paired together, this device also has Bluetooth in it, so you can stream Bluetooth music to it, or from this device to an alternate Bluetooth device. And if you pair them together, then it's gonna create a really, really nice Amazon Echo environment. Alright, so let's plug these things up. I'm gonna run this into the back of the actual unit. And this one into the 
back of this unit. So uh, doesn't that look pretty? Got them both getting powered up as we go. It was on Echo and the Echo Dot. Hello, your Amazon Echo is ready for setup. Just follow the instructions in your Alexa app. Great. What I'm going to do, just for the purpose of this demo, I'm going to unplug this one. All right, because we'll set one up first and then we'll set up the other one. All right, so I've now got my iPhone. I'm going to go and unlock my iPhone. Now, because I this is an Apple household, most of our devices are Apple. We've got Apple subscriptions with Apple Music as well. So we're going to want to use this thing with Apple Music to be able to play straight out of the Apple Music Store, which is a great feature that they've recently added into the uh, Amazon, into the Alexa range, which is really cool. So what you're gonna need to do is you need to go to go, you need to go to the App Store, the app, actual App Store um, on your iPhone and download Amazon Alexa. So I'm gonna go ahead and open that up. All right, wait for that thing to open. Okay, so here we are on our main screen on our iPhone. Got the nice date, tells me where I am, my temperature currently. Uh, and I'm gonna click on the top left corner right here. I'm gonna say add device. You'll see that my Alexa unit is raring to go. I'm gonna say add device. And I'm gonna scroll down to where it says Amazon Echoes. You'll see, you'll see straight away from here, there's a number of different devices that I can add quite easily. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up the Amazon Echo first and then some other devices later on. So let's select Amazon Echo. Choose your device. So obviously you've got the range of Echo and Amazon products right here. And we're going to select the very top one, which is the Echo. All right, so now it's going to say, wait for the orange light. Now, because we did do this earlier, you'll see that it's already on the orange light. So when we did power it on, it was blue, now it's orange, so we should be good to go. And we can say continue right from here. Connect your iPhone to your Echo. So now I have to go into Wi-Fi and connect to a wireless network that the actual Amazon device is uh, essentially emitting or has created. So let's just go into settings right here, go into Wi-Fi, and you'll see on the list here, I found Amazon 4HC, which is my particular device. You see it's obviously now. To Echo. Go ahead and finish the setup in your Alexa app. Great. Looking good so far. So back in here, we're good to go. Continue Echo setup and now I've got a big tick telling me that it all looks good to go. So I can say continue. All right, now I need to essentially tell my Alexa, my Alexa, my Echo, excuse me, to connect to a Wi-Fi network. So Mine is the uh, Red Ghost network. I've got two gigahertz and five gigahertz. So essentially this is the network that I want the actual Amazon device to use. So Wi-Fi password has been put in and now it's got preparing your Echo. This is now connecting to the internet. Well, the Echo is directly connecting out to the internet. So you'll see that now the orange light has disappeared and on my phone itself, it now says that your Echo is online uh, it's connected to the internet and I can just tap continue to customize my Alexa experience. So I can try saying, for example, Alexa, what's the weather? So let's say continue. Do you want to connect an external speaker to your Echo? So this is somewhere where um, if you have a speaker that you want to connect your Echo to, uh, you can actually set it up right here, but you can do this later on. So for the time being, we're just going to say use Echo built-in speaker because we're not going to be configuring the auxiliary cable or a external Bluetooth speaker. So we're going to set essentially the location or the group that this Echo is going to be a part of. So I'm going to have this in the dining room. So let's throw that into there and say continue. Again, most of these options you can set later on and you can customize them later on as you need. You can add your device address and details. Uh, we'll do this later on. So we're going to say skip. And then it gives you an option to watch a small intro video if you so choose to. And close out of this and say next. And now we are done. So now we can essentially say something like, Alexa, what's the weather? 
Whether for what location? Remember, if you enter your full address in the Alexa app, I'll be able to automatically get the weather for where you are. Well, there you go. So because we didn't set up the actual address, it doesn't know where I am. So I am Alexa, Where? what is the weather in Australia, in Melbourne? In Melbourne, Australia, it's 79 degrees Fahrenheit with clear skies. Tonight, you can look for cloudy skies moving in and out with a low of 63 degrees. Nice. So it's obviously telling the temperature to me in Fahrenheit. We use Celsius down under, so I'm going to have to go and change that. And the accent itself, the actual uh, the actual voice is in a American accent. So I'm going to probably want to customize that to something that's more familiar to me. So let's say next and quite easily, Alexa, play some music. As an Echo customer, you get 14 days of free access to Amazon Music Unlimited, which lets you play tens of millions of songs. Your credit card will not be charged during or after 14 days. And a subscription will- Alexa, stop. So there you go. So we are all done. We are ready to go from a basic, basic setup uh, of the Alexa through your uh, actual phone itself. So here we go, let's say, uh, go to home. So here we go. So now we are back to our home and under devices, I've now got my Echo right here and here it is. So it's already named it accordingly under my name, Emilio's Echo, and it's put it, and it's put it under the dining room. Hello, your device is ready for setup. Just download the Alexa app and follow the instructions. Now we've got the actual dot and we're going to set up essentially the same way. We're going to go into add device straight on the Alexa app and go into Amazon Echo and Echo Dot. So ask them the actual generation. You see this is the actual third generation while the other ones are the first and the second. So I'm going to say third generation right here. It's going to search for it. So when the lights of my Echo turns from blue to orange, which it is right here, we should be good to go. So very, very similar, this has actually shown up in my list here. I'm now gonna connect my actual Amazon itself. So once everything has been set up, um, you can essentially create groups where you can put the devices into particular groups. You can then go and add all of your smart devices such as your lights and you know, thermostats, for example, uh, around your house. And then you throw them into groups and you can essentially just tell uh, Alexa where it wants to you know, play certain music, uh, if you want all the devices to be turned on uh, in one particular location. So that is really the summary. The great thing is that on your actual iPhone app itself, you can create groups. So I've got here kids room, I've got a uh, lounge room, I've got a master bedroom, and I'm gonna go and throw one of these devices in each room. Uh, in the case of these little ones, because it has an auxiliary port, I've got a good speaker system in one of the rooms, so I'm gonna be running an auxiliary out of this. And then from another one, which I'll place in, a, in our lounge room where I have a very good stereo system, uh, our TV system, um, I'm gonna be running that over Bluetooth to my stereo speakers. So essentially when I uh, can tell you know, Alexa to play music in a particular spot, uh, it will uh, play it through this device into the Bluetooth speakers and automatically turn my Bluetooth stereo system on and just play through that. So it's actually, it's a really, really cool, cool system and it integrates quite well with your actual um, iPhone. So look, that is, that is a summary on how to uh, install an unboxing of our products, uh, installation and configuration, nice and easy. Uh, Great, look, at the, I'm not gonna say that they're gonna be the greatest uh, sounding speakers. Uh, I mean, this one, this is the third generation, um, so it does sound better than the earlier generation if you have heard those. Um, it can be, you know, uh, it can give you enough good quality. So for example, if you've got your phone and you, you know, throw this onto speaker mode and you're playing music through here, um, it's, it's just a little bit better. Actually, it's a little bit better, maybe twice as good as playing it straight from, from a phone, for example. So it does like a bit of bass and it can sound a little bit muffled at times, but overall it's, it's an okay sounding speaker. So you generally would wanna pair this to a better speaker system, or even just have this in a room just so that you can be walking around your room and just essentially communicate with the AI in here and communicate and control the devices around your place. The, uh, the speaker in here is quite, you know, significantly better than this. Um, if you are looking for an exceptional 
uh, sound quality. I probably wouldn't go for something maybe in this range, in the Amazon range. Um, you can also look at the Sonos range. Even the, um, the, the Apple HomePod will give you exceptional levels of quality, but if you do want to stick with the Amazon range, then that is probably the better one uh, in terms of the quality. So that is a good summary. I'd love it if you commented below. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you need any help uh, around this product, around the Amazon Echo stuff and integration into the Apple. Uh, we do hope to do a number of other videos around this range since I've now got these. Compared these you know, essentially to the Siri range of uh, products in your, in your Apple fleet. And I, in all honesty, I find that um, Alexa is much better, still pick that up anyway, is much better than um, Siri, unfortunately, which isn't uh, the nicest thing, being an Apple fanboy myself but uh, it does do a lot of cool stuff. And the great thing is you can create a lot of, um, let's see, I mean, if I look at my phone, for example, I'm still playing around with this, so it is um, still a new thing, but you can do what's called routines, where you know you can put a, put a particular command in, right? So this area right here on your phone, routines. You can create routines, you can download routines. Essentially, by certain keywords, you can activate multiple things, and you can set it so that it does specific things at certain times when you arrive at home play your music and turn your lights on when you wake up in the morning, play the latest news, followed by some nice music and then maybe some dimmed lights to sort of help you ease into the day. You can do all this really cool stuff through that routines area and a few other sections in there. Um, the great thing about um, the, uh, the Alexa stuff as well, cancel that, is that um, you can customize it so much. You can actually change your voice, um, you know, the accent of the voice, uh, that keyword that I just used to you know, activate it, you can change that to computer, you can change it to echo, those sort of things as well. Um, and you can actually go and really, uh, it, it can learn your patterns, um, learn certain phrases, you can download all of this stuff, so you can actually get a lot of, a lot of out, out of the products itself that unfortunately the, uh, the Siri, the Hey Siri stuff from the, app, app, you know, from the Apple range doesn't give you just yet. So that is my summary. I'd love it if you commented below, as I said before. Subscribe as well to Digital Byte Computing. I've got a whole bunch of more videos and also, you know, uh, as well as subscribing, turn your notifications that you see as I release new videos. And uh, also like this video as well. Um, I hope you do like the videos that I, that I release. And if you want to see more on the Amazon range, and even with Amazon and Apple integration, uh, I hope to do more of those and let me know in the comments if you do want to see those. So that's it for now. Hope you found this helpful and we'll see you next time.